So the rule of 72 is a quick way to figure out how long it will take you to double your money if you invest with compound interest. All you have to do is you take 72 and you divide it by the interest rate you're given. So say, ignoring this example for now, say that you want to invest at 10% compounded annually. All you do is you say 72 divided by 10 and that's going to give it a time of 7.2 years until your money doubles. If you can manage to get 10%, that's awesome. I say go for it. Uh, if you maybe you had 5% interest rate, all you do is 72 over 5, and you'll see that you'll get 14.4 years. Okay, what if we maybe invested at 3%? 72 over 3, that's just going to be equal to, well, that would take you 24 years uh, to double your money. All right, well, let's do this example. Let's say you have 100 shares that you bought for $50 each, and you expect them to earn 8% per year compounded annually. Uh, how long is this going to take to double? Well, we can do our first method. We can use the rule of 72. So let's say maybe method number one. We use rule of 72, and all we do is we have 72 divided by 8. And this is going to give us 9 years. Okay, so that's saying that it will take you nine years to double your money. Uh, now, if we have method number two, we'll just use the future value of an investment. We have the formula is FV equals PV times one plus I to the power of N. Uh, and in this case, we can just fill out these. So future value, well, future value is going to be twice the present value, so maybe we should do the present value first. So first we'd have 100 times 50, so we would have 5,000. Right? That's our investment is $5,000. So, and we want to double it, so our future value will just be 10,000. Um, our interest rate, we know is going to be 8%, so this will be 0 0.08, and N, well, that's what we're looking for. This is the number of years that we're looking for. So if we just go and fill this in, we will get 10,000 is equal to 5,000 times 1.08 to the power of n. Okay, so if we just move this over and rearrange a little bit, we'll get 2 is equal to 1.08 to the n. Now if we just log both sides, you get log 2 is equal to n log 1.08, right? Because if we have log of something with an exponent, you just bring the exponent down. All right, so then we can just rearrange again. So we'll get n is equal to log of 1.08 divided by the log of 2. And if you punch this in your calculator, we will find that n is going to be equal to 9.00647 years. So look, you see that that's pretty close, nine years or 9.006 years. Um, it's not always this close, but you can see that it's definitely a good approximation to be using if you just wanna quickly figure out how long it takes for your money to double.